वेलकम अगेन टू अनदर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स वेन एवर यू डिजाइन हाई राइज स्काई स्क्रेपर आर मोर देन टेन फ्लोर फाइव फ्लोर ट्वेंटी फ्लोर रेजिडेंशियल बिल्डिंग सो यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट गार्बेज स्टडी गार्बेज वेस्ट हाउ यू कैन कैलकुलेट एंड हाउ यू कैन फिक्स गार्बेज स्टडी सो हियर वी हैव जी प्लस टू पार्किंग प्लस फाइव टिपिकल फ्लोर दिस डिजाइन सो टूडे वी विल कैलकुलेट आवर गार्बेज कैलकुलेशन स्टडी This is very important to residential building. How to calculate garbage studies? Uh, whether you have showroom, shops, offices, so all waste how will be covered? And we have we had to provide in ground floor separate garbage room and multi multi story floor to floor plan will cover with a small garbage room. So you can see here this side we are having a small garbage room. we will see this number of seven apartment this uh, flat this floor and we are having this number of five floor so we will calculate today how we can arrange our garbage study so both apartment are same just mirror so this is very important to know how to calculate garbage study as per rule regulation at uh, daily wages and how to calc how to provide garbage you detail so you can see here this is our garbage room 170 by 90 so it will go up to room up to five typical floor whatever you throw here it goes to ground floor directly so as per occupancy we must have to follow the calculation so what the basic requirement we will see one by one in this very important video so After watching this, you will be able to know how to design, how to calculate garbage study. So, first thing first, very important. You have to take area statement. You have to exclude service area, and you have to find out first residential area. So, you can see here, I am taking P line. For area purpose, so we will exclude duct wherever duct coming, and our OTS stair, lift lobby, service room. So you can see here in wall I am going ten centi. We are providing for use of that uh, residential building. Whenever you calculate. You must have to give ten centi in between. So ten centi wall covering our flat apartment area and ten centi wall covering our service area. This is rule. You must have to give equal division for both. You cannot put twenty centi complete for service area. So it means when you will calculate area statement for your floor plan for your flat apartment, so you have to go ten centi wall between, and you have to leave that area where. Uh, your service comes, so that will count in service. So, as you can see here, I am taking P line as per center to center. So, basically, what I am doing here, I am excluding total service area, and rest of the part we will find out. After that, rest of the part means only residential area, only flat area. We will find out total number of flat, how much we are getting in square meter. After that, we will proceed our garbage calculation. So wherever our ducts coming, services, we will take it. We will take it out. So you can see here. So our shear wall, shear wall will be calculated continuously like this. And end to end wall, you can see here. We will take to full outside. If center coming something like this, you can see fire fighting cabinets. So you have to give ten centi for fire fighting. Cabinet and for your toilet purpose, so you have to give both side. So how to calculate area statement for net area, grass area? This is another topic we will see in any other video. If you are interested to know how to calculate flat area, net area, grass area, common area, so I will make that video separately. We just ask in comment section, and I will must make another video. So let this finish. So I am basically. Basically, we are reaching to finalize our area statement. So we will exclude this full. So you can see here OTS coming here also. 
Okay, so I am taking center to center 10 cm this side, 10 cm this side. It means 10 cm, 10 cm ownership for this flat and 10 cm responsible for service. So that is the reason we have to divide both divisions in center to center. Okay, so you can see this outside. So outside we have to cover full. So it is full flat wall responsible for this area statement. So we can keep like this. So this much our service area we have taken paradigm. So you can see here, this much our service area. And we will check again wherever if coming in center duct anything else. So we will exclude that one also. So if you see here we have everything arranged. So I will take this full rectangle by mean we can take this full area and we will minus into this. So we will get our residential area. Once again, I will take full area. After that, I will minus whatever our covering our poly, poly line. We will subtract that one. So you can see here, another OTS is here. We will exclude this one also. I will take rectangle and 20 cm, 10 cm offset. 10 cm offset means I already, already I told you why we are using 10 cm offset. Okay, fine. We will take it out. This also. So, this full rectangle is our whole flat floor, whole floor area. And in between is our service area. Okay, and duct our service area, number of three duct separately. What we will do simply, we will take this full area minus that service area. To calculate area, similarly take area. So you can see here 812 square meter we are getting. So this rectangle total 812 square meter, 812 square meter. Simply what we will do for garbage calculation, we will minus this 812 in, in the rest of the service what we have inside. So we will see how much we are getting inside. So we will take a subtract, otherwise we can add and have total overall coming. So that 812 minus that much. So take area, object, select this and this and this. So you can see here we are getting 125 approximate. So this total area 125 square meter. So once again take area statement and add object, select this and this and this. So you can see here we are getting 125.63. So this total area we are getting 125.63. So 812 is 812 minus 125.83. So how much we will get? That will be net floor residential area. So we are simply what we did. We have taken a rectangle for full area and we have minus this much into that 812 square meter. So take a calculator, we will see how much we are getting. So we will minus. I will take calculator from this. Okay, 812 is our full floor area. Okay, minus. Take again. I think 125 something. We will see again. 100. 25.63 square meter. So this will be minus 125.63 is equal to 686.37. So this is our flat floor area, total flat, total residential, total engaged area. So five floor will go continuously means 686.73 into five. Because we have 5 floor, if you have 50 floor, if you have 10 floor, 20 floor, same you can calculate and you can add into number of floors. So total coming 3431.8 square meter. So we will keep here this 3.318 square meter. So garbage quantity for residential 3, 3, uh, 300, uh, 3431.85 square meter. Now the very important thing. 
very very important thing how we will calculate how we will find out per kg garbage so this is very simple very very simple we will see this thing so we have uh, covered this part only and this part is same if we will calculate this one so that one will be total copy so so this much into so you can if you see here we have number of showroom here also so number of showroom will cover in office so we will we can keep here number of shop or number of showroom both are same calculation but keep in mind residential have different calculation num showroom and offices have different calculation for garbage so we will take total 185 plus 167.30 this total showroom area so we have to add how many showroom we have here we have number of four showroom so we will add total number of so and again number of number 483.80 okay so we are getting 773 square meter so this uh, this showroom is coming 773 square meter so simply what we have we have to do again we have already find out our area simply this multiply into 5 so we are getting 3431.85 now we are going to make the major thing however how much total square meter into 12 12 is a rule you have to give 12 kg 12 by 100 this is a, this is this is a formula keep in mind this is very very important this is a formula total number of uh, total square meter into 12 by 100 so this is for 11.82 kg per day our calculation comes for five floor that area that for 411.82 kg so you can keep for uh, 11 otherwise for 12 keep approximate so simply what simply what we got so for residential uh, is formula 12 kg by 100 so total area into 12 kg by 100 so you will multiply so you will get the result that is per kg that is total kg per day so the garbage calculation for office showroom is same 773 into 5 instead of 12 you have to keep 5 so 5 into 100 773 square meter office showroom area into 5 by 100 so total how much we are getting that that is daily wages daily garbage for office or shop or showroom so 38.65 we are getting this for our showroom so we will keep here for showroom so basically for residential you have to calculate total for, total area into 12 by 100 so you will get kg per day for office for shop for showroom you have to calculate total area into 5 by 100 is equal to what how much you are getting that is per day kg similarly so take this here and i will keep it here okay so this total number of uh, apartment we have seven and number of five floor total we are getting 544 kg per day for residential and for showroom 38 kg 38.65 kg per day so total garbage quantity we will keep it here and major thing balance how we will place our garbage trolley and garbage chute we will see that on also no problem so this 412 plus 38.65 total number of so we will get total kg how much let this 450.65 so we are getting five floor one side 450.65 kg per day so we have 2.5 cubic meter one trolley keep in mind big size trolley 2.5 cubic meter half 1.1 1.25 so we have place here 2.5 cubic meter 
So how we will calculate this 2.5 cubic meter? We will go plan and we will see how we have placed. So just consider 450.65 by 250 because we have 2.5 cubic meter. So we will divide that in 250. So how much we will get by 250? This 2.5 cubic meter. So we will divide this total kg by 250. So we are getting 1.8. This is what? This is exactly number of trolley we need for this much garbage. So 1.8 nose means 2 nose trolley 2.5 cubic meter. And once again 2 nose trolley for 2.5 cubic meter we need. So you can see here this is our garbage room. We are already getting here number of 3 trolley you can see here. So this trolley 220 by 155 by 2, uh, 220 into 155 into 1 meter. So we will get 2.25 square meter trolley. So this is the trolley number of 3 trolley we have here. But our, as per our calculation we are required just only 2 trolley. So we have more than that no problem. So this is our garbage chute. Whenever you throw something here it will go continuously from parking. So we have to give our this you can see here we have shifted. So we have to make you can see here one is here and one is here. So our garbage chute. What this mean? This simply means you are turning this from here to here to shift that room location. So we can turn if you will make section so it will not go straight. It will turn that area. Up to 70 angle you can turn no problem. So it will come our second turning will go continuously down. So it will come here. So simply what we did. We have taken our total floor area then we have minus service area. We are getting total 812 square meter. After that we have made 812 minus our service area. What we got we have divided into multiply into 12 divided 100. So we got that residential. Uh, garbage waste for daily and for showroom we have made number of uh, 5 per uh, total area into 5 by 12. So as I said another apartment another build block is the same. So we have separate also their separate garbage room. Okay. So this is block A. If you will if both are same so you can keep block A and block B. Otherwise you can add full area here and you can put number of trolley 4 into there and to this block simply. Just nothing. So this is block B. Okay. So what what the main thing for garbage calculation keep in mind total area minus service area multiplied by, multiply by number of floor is equal to into, into 12 by 100 the result is per kg per day kg the garbage compaction ratio this is very very important suppose you have more than 100 100 floor more than 50 floor you have problem garbage calculation going you need number of 50 trolley but you have only place in garbage to number of 30 trolley so you can make their compaction ratio you can keep 25 percent compaction ratio suppose you need you have 12 uh, garbage trolley and you have only 10 to keep so you can keep 10 with 25 percent compaction ratio. So this is uh, in rare cases we can use our compaction ratio it's not mandatory not mandatory okay so basically we learn today how to how to calculate our garbage calculation in a very much simple way possibly if you have anywhere any comment must must ask in comment section I must reply thanks for watching if you got this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe. If you have any, any doubt, must ask, must ask in comment, comment section, I must reply. reply. Thanks for watching. See you in next video with another topic.